Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today guys, I'm going to teach you guys how can you make, I mean like, you know, use Scratch 3 on your desktop, so let's go ahead and get into this. But before we start with the tutorial, I just want to know that, I mean like, let's say, you know, I just want to, you know, let you guys know that I'm about to hit 100 subscribers, just a couple subscribers, you know, until 100 subscribers. So make sure to subscribe and yeah, leave a like on this video. So let's get started. So first thing first, what do you need to do is go to Microsoft Store. Also, quick disclaimer: this is only work for people who have Windows 10 or higher. So you're going to go right on over here and you're going to search up Scratch Desktop. There we go. Should be here. So yeah, ignore these ones here. So let's go ahead and click on Scratch Desktop. Also, if you just search up Scratch, that also works. Let me have some proof here. It also works, but it comes up with a hell I and mean, like a lot of project here. I and mean, like, you know, like apps here. But just select Scratch Desktop. And also you might wonder, what is this? And what is even this so basically let me, let me just explain these are fake ones they are just fake so basically you might thinking oh i just click on this and then it was like oh it's the same look at this clip it's still like the same but the thing that you need to you know like you know think about this fraud i mean like this app wasn't even from scratch foundation which is the company of scratch like who owns scratch and why would they sell the product like four dollars? This is, you know, this is uh, my currency, something like that. So yeah, let's go ahead. Pop it on right now here. Scratch around the shame, but scratch. Ah, okay. Then you can go ahead and click on install. Ignore this one. And now I'm going to wait until this thing finishes download. It's not gonna take like. So long. Okay, we're done with downloading. There you go. Just like a couple more steps. There we go. You can just pre press launch now. So I'm just going to launch it. There we go. Here's a scratch desktop. There we go. Now we're in scratch desktop. So here is the thing that have changed in scratch desktop. As you can see, there's like no accounts. It didn't even ask you to like, you know, sign in. That's basically because this is for offline, not for online. So yeah. Also, this function is still the same. Edit turbo mode. It's like still the same. It still works the same. Same tutorials. Getting started. And my name. Imagine it. Make music. Still the same. These are all the same. And also the costume, the workspace, and everything is the same. But the thing is, you can't, you know, like, sign in your account here. That's just, like, the downside of it. So, yeah. This is, you know, like, a look of, you know, the offline thing. So the offline makes you, like, immune, like, a little bit more immune to, like, the lags. And stuff like that, I guess. So yeah. So you are thinking, what can I do with this? Like, if I can't save my work, actually you can save your work. So I'm just going to, you know, go ahead and place down some script here. So yeah, this is the script here. So there we go. Now you're going to go to files and save it to your computer and yeah, something like that. I'm just going to go into and I'm just going to save this as a uh, test. There we go. So now, if you want to open it, for example, if I click new and yeah, something like that, I can go ahead and load from the computer and then and scratch. There we go. So now the files will be SB files. As you can see, it's SB3. Yeah, SB3. You are thinking. Thus, there is a way I can take this project into my online editor. 
and this all say yes actually so you can go to scratch mid the do make sure your account is there go to create okay this should work this should work there we go and then click on files and then load from your computer i'm going to use the folder test there we go let's go so as you can see the thing is still here so i'm just going to close this here and there we go this is how and also you might be thinking is there any way i can download this without using this you know like this method well actually yes you can use it in order you know like another one let me show you real quick i shouldn't have closed my web browser but anyway let's go ahead and go to scratch done made a do so all you have to do is scroll this down all the way to the end and click on download right over here there we go now this is you know like downloading the thing here so as you can see this is scratch 3 would you like to create and save okay well internet connection download the you know like scratch app so now the requirement stays the same windows 10 or higher so now as you can see you can get it from microsoft store which microsoft store is available for windows 10 or higher so yeah same requirements i don't even recommend the di direct download something like that because it's like a little bit hard and yeah it would took me like eight minutes to i mean like 20 minutes to like explain this whole thing so i recommend you get from you know like the microsoft store as i'm doing in this video so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoy you know like this video i hope you guys you know like enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe make sure to subscribe because like i want to hit 100 subscribers so make sure to help me out by subscribing also join the discord server if you have any question follow me on twitter the link will be in the description and i'll see you guys next time keep learning programming because it's cool Bye, guys.